In this tutorial, we would like to show you how to perform a receiver point calculation and how to identify the contributions from different sources with the help of a result list. After starting the software, we create a new noise project with one emission variant and design a simple setup. First, we go to the pre-selected standard element library and choose the element building. Then select the draw element button and activate the buttons for closed and rectangular element. Left click on the desired position to draw the first node. Add a second, third and fourth node by left clicking into the map and close the element with a right click. This opens the input dialog. Set the relative height of the house to 10 meters and close the dialog by clicking the OK button. Now we would like to design receiver points on the facades. You can either draw receiver points with the respective element in the standard library or you can use a macro to generate receiver points automatically. Therefore, select the Edit Element tool and left click on the house. You can now see that it is selected by the highlighted outlines. Right click on the house opens the menu where we select Macros, Generate Receiver Points. We now enter the number of floors, which is 3, the altitude of the ground floor receiver with 1.5 meters, and the floor height with 3 meters. Close the dialog by clicking the OK button. All receiver points that have been created are now displayed in a table for your information. The next step is to create the noise sources. Therefore, we choose the ISO 9613-2 element library on the left and select the line source. Then change to the draw element tool and deactivate the buttons for closed and rectangular element. Go to the desired position for the beginning of your line source, for example a road, left click and draw the road by setting a second node. Right click to finish the construction. In the element dialog we can enter a name for the road and set the relative height of the emission line to 0.5 meters. Therefore open the geometry input and right click on the column for the relative height set. Choose set value constant and enter 0.5 meters. Then close the window. We now enter the length related sound power level of 75 decibel directly and close the dialog by clicking OK. In our example we would also like to take into account a nearby industrial site. So we choose the area source element from the ISO library and set four nodes with a left mouse click. To close the element, simply right click. In the element dialog, we enter the name of the source, industrial site, and the relative height of one meter by clicking the geometry input. Again, to set a constant height, right click on the column for the relative height set choose set value constant and enter one meter. Close the dialog with OK. Now enter the area related sound power level directly with a value of 65 decibel. In order to calculate the overall level at the receiver points, we go to the point calculation dialog, which is easily accessible by clicking the respective icon. 
press the button calculate and the overall value for all receiver points will be displayed for the emission variant day. If you are now interested in the contribution of the different sources, you can change to the results tab. Choose the mid-size list of the noise level and press the show button. A dialog with the display option will appear. Leave the settings on default values and click OK. This opens the mid-size list for all receiver points with the sum level and the contributions of the different sources. When the option Descending by Layer Day is selected, the mid-size list automatically sorts the contributing noise sources according to their relevance for the sum level. So you are always able to identify the main contributor for each receiver point. The list can now be exported for documentation purposes by selecting one of the export functions in the upper area.